Do you want to pass the legislature examination for teachers? Then you're blessed. My channel is for you. I am Sir Leo at your service. Good day! Welcome back to my channel. Okay, so last time in my first content, I posted this. Okay, nung lep ng time ko, mga 2013, may isang question na lumabas na ganito. So, if I were you, you finish this video because we don't know in your time, isa, dalawa, o tatlo. Tapos hindi mo alam, paano mo isusolve. Diba? So, before we start, Remember these things, okay? First, mindfulling technique. Okay, actually this is not a word from any dictionary, no? Pero, I always tell this to my students that uh, before anything else, especially in mathematics, they must mindful themselves. Saying, I love to learn math, I love to learn math, I love to learn math, okay? So, sa mga bahay nyo dyan, kung saan ba kayo, repeat three times. Okay, again? I love to learn math. I love to learn math. I love to learn math. Or if it's not math, English, or soxi, or any subject, then do the same. Because it's useless if you will study for a lesson, no? Tapos, you don't love to learn anything of it. Diba? So, dapat, mindful mo ang self mo. You learn you, or you love to learn the subject matter. Okay? And of course, you must keep on studying and practicing. Sa mathematics, hindi, hindi dahil magaling siya, magaling siya, or magaling sila, kaya nakapasa. No. They keep on studying and practicing. Practicing talaga, guys, no? Then, of course, have faith in God. Because, Si God ang nagbibigay ng strength, knowledge, and wisdom. Okay? So, remember these three things. Okay. So, let us review this. Actually, no, basic lang po ito. Addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, exponent, at grouping symbols. But if you do not know these six, you cannot answer the questions posted. The question posted, I mean. Diba? Diba? So, let us review all of this. Pero, ang pag-review ko, i-share ko po sa inyo paano ko isusolve ang mga certain problem or certain mathematical expression. Okay? Example. In addition, okay, first, we have first case. Adding the same sign. Okay? So, if we add the same sign, such as 5 and 2, both positive. Actually, very basic lang to, pero I will review para talaga uh, you learn to love math, diba? From the basics to the complicated one. So, let's start from the basic, of course. Okay? So, if we add the same sign, so just add, no, the numbers. 5 plus 2, then 7, and copy the sign. That's the positive. So, no need na to put positive 7. Diba? Ganyan? So, let's have another example. Yung mga basic nyo, yung grade 1. 1 plus 1. Diba? It's 2. Ganyan lang ka basic, guys. Case is we're adding the same sign, pero negative. Okay? If that's the case, do the same. I-add nyo ang dalawang numbers and copy the sign. So, ang dalawang number dito that we're adding ay 5 at 2. So, just add 5 plus 2, 7. But we are adding two negative numbers. So, just copy negative. Okay ha? So, try at home. Ganito. Negative 10 plus negative 3. Okay. So again, look at the signs. They are both negative. And if we add the same sign, ano nga ang gagawin? I-add lang natin ang mga numbers. 10 plus 3, 13. And what's the sign? It's negative. Okay, so sa elementary teacher ko, no, regards to Mama Herboso, no, uh, Usually, kung mga negative ang pinag-uusapan, utang daw yan. So, kung may yes ka na utang, 10 pesos na utang, at 3 pesos na utang, 
Therefore, may 13 pesos kang utang. At dahil utang nga yan, no, negative. Okay? So, again, practice at home. Post mo na ang video, no? Negative 25 plus negative 12. Sige daw, post mo na before mag-answer. Okay? So, the answer is, we are adding the same sign. All negative. So, pwede nang isulat si negative. 25 plus 12, 37. And that's it. That's the second case. Okay, the first case, both positive. The second case, both negative. Kung ganun lang, just add and copy the sign. Okay? Ganyan lang kadali, guys. I, learn, I love to learn math. I love to learn math. I love to learn math. Ganyan lang. Paulit-ulit nyo lang sa mind nyo yan. Okay, so let us have the third case. Okay, in addition, we will add different signs. So, ano naman ang gagawin natin if different signs? Okay, so kung different signs po, just subtract the two numbers and copy kung sino yung mas malaki. Copy the sign of those holding the bigger number. Okay, so in our case, so, we are adding now different sign. Diba? Tingnan nyo po. Negative 5 and a positive 2. So, anong gagawin? Just subtract. 5 minus 2 is 3. Tapos, ang nag-hold ng sign na mas malaki ay ang negative 5. So, copy the negative. Okay. Diba? Okay, try this second example. Negative 10 plus 7. Okay. So, again, we are adding different signs. Kung different signs agad, guys, ipasok nyo sa mind yun na you are to subtract. So, subtract the number. 10 minus 7. Very basic. 3. Now, the question is, what's the sign? So, tingnan nyo. Si 7 or si 10? So, si 10 ang mas malaki, guys. So, copy kung ano ang sign ni 10. Which is negative. So, negative 3. And try at home. Negative 20 plus 19. Sige daw, pause muna, no? Or, I know you can have this via mental math, no? So, we are adding again different signs. So, what are you going to do? Subtract 20 minus 19, 1. And the sign na dapat natin i-follow ay negative dahil si 20 ay mas malaki kaysa ni 19. So, we have here negative 20. So, negative 1. Ganyan lang. Ganyan lang talaga, guys. At, okay, again, at home, negative 100 plus 90. Okay, try. Okay? So, we are adding different sign. Subtract. 100 minus 90, 10. Tapos, mas malaki si 100 kaysa ni 90, which holds the negative sign, put negative. So, it's negative 10. Ganyan lang ka-easy. I learned, I love to learn math, I love to learn math, I love to learn math. Ganyan. Okay? So, fourth case. Okay, here, we are still adding different signs, pero mas malaki si positive. Okay, Let's have this one example. 5 plus negative 2 equals what? Okay, again, we are adding different signs. Positive and a negative. Ano nga ang gagawin, guys? Subtract. 5 minus 2 is 3. Okay. Tapos, ano ba dapat ang sign? Is it really negative? Or positive? Parang may wrong, no? Sa presentation. Is it really positive or negative? Okay, look. 2 and 5. Compare. Ano ang mas malaki? Sino mas malaki sa kanya? Si 5. Okay. And 5 has a positive sign. So, ang answer dapat, guys, is positive 3. Okay? Or, just 3. Diba? Sa mga nakakita ng wrong, Tapag post ko, very good. Okay, another question. 10 plus negative 4. Okay, we are adding different signs. So, ano nga ang gagawin ulit? Subtract the two numbers. Para easy, subtract lang the two numbers. 10 minus 4. 
it's 6. Now, tingnan nyo kung anong number ang nag-hold. I mean, anong number ang much bigger? Ang bigger, 10 or 4? Diba 10? Tapos, anong sign ni 10? It's positive. So, it's positive 6 or just 6. Ganyan lang, guys. So, at home, 20 plus negative 1. Okay, pause nyo muna if gusto nyo. Again, we are adding different sign. A positive and a negative. Again, subtract. 20 minus 1, 19. Tapos, si 20 ay mas malaki kay 1, of course. At si 20 ay positive. So, copy 20. Ganyan lang po sa addition. Again, I love to learn math. I love to learn math. I love to learn math. That's it lang. So, perfect yun ang addition, no? 